Apple Watch, iPad Air and iPad Mini. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the both of these devices. Hey guys, my name is Umair, you're watching I Umair and here is the video as I promised you yesterday, iPad Air and iPad Mini. Let's start with the iPad Air. iPad Air, if you see the design, design is kind of old fashioned but it still looks great because the price is not that high. I will obviously talk about the price at the end of this video but let's start and talk about the specs. So this device is rocking with 10.5 inches retina display which is very nice to see. I like the retina display on the iPad which is really great. It comes up with A12 Bionic chip which is really good. It is not A12X Bionic chip, it is the other one A12 Bionic chip but still it is really powerful chip so you are going to get a really amazing performance without any doubt. There is no face ID as you can see so it really supports the touch ID still. So yeah somehow touch ID is alive. No, Apple gives the support for the Apple Pencil which is really nice but obviously you need to purchase the Apple Pencil separately. There is also support for the smart keyboard which is also very nice so if people want to work this way they can do that. Uh, yeah you need to buy Apple smart keyboard you know separately that is how the business works. Now the starting price of iPad Air is uh, 499 US dollars which is not that high being honest with you. It's a good mid-range budget if you are kind of a person who do simple works you can use it and the performance is going to be great and with the Apple Pencil support you can draw a couple of graphs you can work on your graphics and all those things so I think this is a good price range and I think this is a really good product from the Apple a very nice move from the Apple so let's move to the iPad mini and let's talk about the iPad mini I believe iPad mini is especially for the kids or let's say for the students and it is really great. It comes with the 7.9 inches same retina display which is very nice to see. Same performance with A12 Bionic chip which is also really nice. Now the size is small but I think this is a really good size for the students and for the kids. So yeah there is also support for the Apple Pencil. The support for the Apple Pencil makes a great sense for this one and for example if you are a student and you want to do graphic designing or you are doing some PDF file work or something like that Apple Pencil can help you a lot with doing stuff and making it a much easier. So in this way I think this is really good. I know this is also in the old fashioned design but still it is a good option. So there is no face ID at all still a touch ID but finally touch ID is available and personally I like touch ID too so it works for me. So the starting price is 399 US dollars which is also very nice to see and being honest with you I would say that both iPads are really good for their price ranges. Talk according to the price ranges both are giving good performance and good a design language everything is really nice so I think if you're gonna purchase anything for your kids or are you a student you're looking for something like this I think this is a really good option and you can definitely put your money in it and you can purchase for it this was this video was just a quick thinking what I think about about the specs this is not a detailed review because I'm not going to use these any of these devices so this was just what I think about and yeah this is just kind of a news video that Apple launched these devices anyways I will see you in my next video peace